So this is a real nice day trip from Ljubljana. I started out a bit late because I came from Zagreb this morning, but now I'm in Bohinje and uh, what a stunning, stunning day. The Lake Bohinje is over there. Now I'm just walking around this little park here. And uh, this is an absolutely incredible place. Must be one of the most beautiful ones I've been. No doubt about that. These are the Julian Alps right here. Isn't that stunning? So the lake is over there and apparently you can walk around it. I'll see how far I get before it gets dark. But just, uh, yeah. What a stunner, what a stunner, Slovenia. I knew it was this pretty, but I just, uh, I don't know, it was never on my route. But totally worth it, 100%. Yeah, this uh, also tops the list of one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. Water is just magnificent. The way that it hasn't been overbuilt with uh, hotels, like unfortunately Bansko, it is left in its authentic state. And there's only very, very minimal construction. Nothing's been touched otherwise. And that's all that I can truly appreciate. That's all that matters really. So the lake I suppose is bigger than Lake Blat, although I haven't confirmed that. I can imagine that in summer it's absolutely very crowded, but right now there's not, uh, not a lot of people at all. So that's kind of cool because I can imagine it gets too crowded in summer and you don't get to enjoy the peace and silence of the lake. And the thing is that, despite that, which is how beautiful this is, despite that, it's actually warm. I could take off my coat almost, and it's like 6.30 in the afternoon. Wow. Yeah, I guess they have some good uh, regulations on the building of hotels, because not to... Uh, not to shit on Bulgaria, but honestly, <laughs> it would be full of resorts and it would ruin the whole thing. And actually, that is one of my biggest criticisms of Bulgaria, that the things they have, they don't hold it. Let it go to uh, quick profit schemes, let's say. Just hotel building that are empty for most of the year. And it takes away the authenticity of the country and that is still that is still available in Slovenia and it hurts my heart to say that but uh, they do it a lot better here yeah after Seeing this, I would say I could live in Slovenia, totally. Like, uh, if Ljubljana was a bigger city only, I guess that will get boring eventually. But you can't have everything. Just looking at this, uh, one of Europe's best places, totally. And I haven't even seen the highest peaks, that's... Uh, Triklav of 2,800 and something meters over there in the back probably, behind these mountains. So it gets even higher than this. And I guess you can do absolutely stunning hikes in this country. I'm uh, just so lucky today.
uh, I think one of the most incredible days of my life because it's my 30th birthday and I'm getting to see this. It's just, wow. I really don't know what I'm uh, seeing. That's how, how stunning this is. All around are the Julian Alps, right here. Tallest peaks there in the back. And these beautiful Swiss style houses like Alpine. Made of wood, probably some 40 years old or something. Or can be 60 even. And nothing has been touched. And I love how Slovenia does this. There's no satellite dishes. Everything fits. Everything fits. I'm uh, very, very impressed. And I've seen a lot. But this kind of does it for me. Just the authenticity. It's uh, It hits the right buttons. So my first uh, solo trip was in... The Balkans as well, when I flew to Montenegro, or I flew to Serbia, through Montenegro, uh, Croatia, Dubrovnik, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Kosovo, then Macedonia, flew back from Skopje. It was a special trip for me because it was my first solo trip and also it was my first time of doing it with a man. And that was in Montenegro. Let's say special occasion for me as well. And all in all, I have probably led most of my significant life events in the Balkans. I think. Or at least most of my significant events while being abroad. Same with my 30th birthday. And before I went to Montenegro and Serbia and everywhere, I had just come out of the closet. And then it was my first time to really do what I wanted. To be free from anything. From judgment and whatnot. My son's strange coming from the Netherlands to say that, but I was bullied quite a lot. And had a pretty difficult time just accepting myself. But then, that was my first time I truly could let go, enjoy myself. I still do that to this very day, let's say. I think I'm doing well. I hope the same for all my viewers. If you can truly be yourself without limitations. Nice abandoned house. Must be a big vacation home from the Yugoslav era. The architecture is a bit different than in Bulgaria. And uh, yeah, I'm totally fascinated by all of former Yugoslavia. It has something very, very deep about it. The whole former empire of it and the current nations are, uh, I know, they're one of a kind, all of them. I'm totally in love with Slovenia right now, but also with Croatia. Just the whole Balkans, perhaps. Look at this wooden... Wooden architecture right here. And, uh, I don't know. It's as if I'm walking in movie scene. That's basically the whole of the Alps. If you go into Austria, Switzerland, you definitely should go, despite the high prices. Go check it out. It's like once in a lifetime thing. You have to see certain things in this world. Uh, the Alps is one of them. No matter where in the Alps, just try going at least once. So here's the last of the Bohinia Mountains and Lake for today. Going to take the bus to Ljubljana.